Another addition to the SOFIN suite of applications is Secure Desktop. What is Secure Desktop? Well, SOFIN Secure Desktop locks down users' desktops whilst retaining a familiar look, feel and functionality of Windows. This prevents them from accessing unnecessary programs and files. It also simplifies the way you manage your network and improves security. Secure Desktop is easy and straightforward to use, and settings and lockdowns can be applied by administrators with fairly basic skill sets. It provides the ability to control and manage your systems with a familiar desktop style that incorporates taskbar mounted icons in keeping with users' expectations. Using Secure Desktop ensures client-side lockdown and provides a secure computing environment resulting in a substantial reduction of your IT costs. OK, let's look at some of the benefits. Its high manageability reduces pressure on IT resources and training resulting in a lower total cost of ownership. Using Secure Desktop also helps prevent the spread of malicious software and viruses. It also helps prevent data theft or loss, as no data is stored on the client device. Of course, it being Secure Desktop, it prevents users from making unauthorized configuration changes or installing software. It can stop users from copying company data to USB drives, CD-ROMs or floppy disks, but still provides access to the internet or web-based applications. It allows users to use the product with minimal or no training, and improves workflow and can extend the lifespan of existing hardware. SOFIN Secure Desktop is supported on Windows 95, 98, NT4, 2000 and XP, the 32-bit version, as well as running all 32-bit applications which will run on the supported operating systems, and is hardware vendor independent. It supports local CD drives, DVDs and USB drives, and multiple monitors. It has full Microsoft Active Directory integration, and has full printer support. Secure Desktop supports mobile internet cards and adapters, which are particularly useful for laptop and mobile workers. And Secure Desktop also supports full multimedia content using the local system resources. OK, let's take a closer look. Before the SOFIN suite is able to benefit you and your organization, we first need to deploy the software to the client devices. This is done through the software deployment application. Once we've selected the software we want to deploy, we can right-click it and select Deploy Software. Using the SOFIN suite, it's also possible to deploy your own software packages as long as they allow for unattended setup routines. Now we've selected the Deploy option, we get prompted to accept the license agreement for the selected software package. This must be accepted to continue with the installation. Once we've accepted the license agreement, we can select which computers to deploy the selected package to. We have the ability to select alternative domains for those with more complex networks and also the ability to install to as many computers on those domains as we wish. In this example we're going to be deploying to a single device. Now we're being prompted for administrative credentials. These credentials need to be valid for each selected computer to allow the software to be deployed. The system will attempt to authenticate the supplied credentials, however, if this does not work, the deployment wizard will still attempt to authenticate the installation process with the supplied credentials. Here we have the option of selecting when the install will take place. By default, the machines will be rebooted immediately and deployed to. However, we can unselect this option to allow the software to install itself upon next boot. OK, now we can see the status of our software deployment. Any computers that fail to install will be shown here as failed and you'll have the option of running the wizard again on these computers to solve any issues that may have occurred. Now we've moved to the Thing Client Manager, the application in the management console that allows us to control the behavior of the deployed Thing Client devices. Here we're going to open a predefined configuration file, however on a new setup you can simply click New Computer to create one of these from scratch. Now we see the opening screen of the configuration dialog for this secure desktop client device. The General tab allows access to common restriction options such as hiding menu options as well as disabling certain hotkey combinations. OK, at this point we need to set an administration password for the device. On each so thin thin client device there is the option of gaining access to the configuration locally by use of a special hotkey combination. This screen will be password protected with the password you specify here. This stops any unauthorized user from gaining access to the local configuration. Many times a network administrator may decide it serves no purpose to have a user log into the workstation. For this reason, we have enabled the option of having an automatic logon function. This allows you to specify credentials which should automatically log the workstation on, thus allowing the user the ability to sit down at the device and immediately get to work, rather than having to wait for a local logon. We can also specify any programs that should automatically start when the client device loads. This could be anything from a logon script to a kiosk application. We also have the ability of locking down local drives. 
On some secure desktop devices, certain applications may have the ability to browse the computer for data and thus gain access to unauthorized items. Disabling unnecessary drives on the computer closes this potential security issue. The final step in configuring the SoThin Secure Desktop Client is to specify the management server. This is the name or IP address of the computer that holds the authoritative management console and manages all SoThin client settings. You can also select the group that this device belongs to. The group controls the applications that are available to that particular workstation or user. OK, now that we've deployed the software and configured the client, we're going to update the client with the settings we've just specified. By default, all SoThin clients that have a management server specified will check that server every time the application starts, and if any local configuration options don't match what's on the server, the settings will be reapplied from the server to the client. We also have the option of sending the Thin Client settings down to any number of configured devices. Simply select the devices you wish to update and click OK. In a similar method to the software deployment wizard, the Update Desktop screen will show us which of the selected computers were able to receive their updates. Any computers that fail this step may have a firewall or other configuration that may prevent communication with the management console. Even though we sent the settings to the computer, it's still running as a standard Windows desktop. Uh, that is to say that although the software is deployed, the system hasn't yet been converted to run the SoThin Thin Client interface. If we now right-click a computer and select Convert Desktops, this allows us to make ready for use any computer with the SoThin Thin Client software on. The Convert Desktop window works very much like the Update Desktops window. However, here we have an additional option to turn the selected computers into SoThin Thin Client devices or to turn them back into standard Windows desktops. We can highlight multiple options by using the Shift or Control keys. Again, we see the status screen showing which computers were able to receive the command to convert. Here we've opened a SoThin remote control connection to the applicable client device to show the finished setup. Here we can see we've allowed several applications including a web browser, instant messaging application and media player. As you can see, the simple yet effective configuration of SoThin Secure Desktop allows for flexible and agile deployment to both single or multiple machines, whilst the application itself secures the local computer and restricts its use to whatever you wish for it to run, making it, as the name implies, secure. For further information on other products in the SoThin suite or to request a download, please go to www.sothin.net. That's www.sothin.net.